Hello, Krusty crew. We went to Universal. We just got our passes back. Yeah. We're back, baby. <laughs> After a year hiatus. I don't even think it's been a full year. I think they expired last July and it's March. <laughs> yeah. But we knew we were going to be going in April with some friends anyways. And it's like, well, as long as we go twice, the pass pays for itself. So we might as well get the pass again and then we'll get free parking in the future. Yep. So. Wobbly time. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. Parking garage. I hate parking garages. I'm not even had, a claustrophobic human, but I hate We had to park, um, they put us on the roof, on the top. They did. So the car was hot. It was quite warm. We weren't there for very long. It's only one o'clock now. We got there at opening. Um, we was, just wanted to do a quick pop pop in, ride some things the with a low day, weight. It wasn't the hottest day, but it's been warm. By the way, if you're curious where these glasses are from, <laughs> I got bad news for you. I have no idea. <laughs> They're very old. Um, now we're going to go to Barnes & Noble because we don't have one in our town and I'm a book girly now, so. <laughs> yes, this is, this is her current hyperfixation. I did um, almost finish Witch Please that I shared in the last vlog. I think I have like 50 pages left, so I'll finish that tonight most likely before bed. And then I ordered the second book in the series. I think it's called Boss Witch Online because it wasn't in my books a million and then I did buy the third one at books a million when I checked for the second one I don't remember what it's called <sighs> feeling witchy or extra something witchy. extra witchy oh you're good bub uh the fourth one doesn't come out until later this year though I thought it was maybe already out but I was misinformed but there's definitely some more books on my wish list and I'm hoping the Orlando Barnes and Noble won't let me down and then if there is a home goods nearby I want to pop in to hopefully find some more Joanna Parker. But we shall see. Yes. Who knows? My Joanna Parker online haul will get here tomorrow though. So I'll show you that. No, Tuesday. No, maybe tomorrow. I don't remember. It's coming soon and I'll show you. But in the meantime, we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble and hopefully get some books. somebody pulling up right when I'm trying to vlog. Um, this Home Goods was a flop. I mean, they had a lot of stuff, but it was the same stuff that I've seen. No new Joanna Parker. Um, but I did get three new books at Barnes & Noble. I was tempted to get many more, but I already have a couple books to read at home. <laughs> and I like going to the bookstore, so I don't need to buy too many at once. I got The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. Might be butchering that, but it just seems cute. Nice, fun, witchy book. That's my vibe right now. And then I got just this easy read rom-com, Funny You Should Ask, by Alyssa Sussman. I really like this cover. I do judge a book by its cover, by the way. <laughs> um, but I saw this recommended a lot on like BookTube and Book Talk and all those places. So that would be fun to read later. And I desperately want to delve back into my Twilight fantasy. So I bought Crave. <laughs> this is basically supposedly like the new generation's Twilight. So I got Crave. I think there's like four or five books in that series. So if I like the first one, then I'll have lots to read. But I loved reading the Twilight books back in the day. So I'm excited to read like the new version of them. So that's my book haul, and now Zane and I are simply starving to death, so we're gonna find some food in the area. Just ground. And then <laughs> you couldn't hear it, but it happened. <laughs> then head home. Hello! Happy Wednesday. I haven't vlogged in a couple days. Last time I saw you was when we went to Universal and the bookstore and stuff like that. Um, but I have some things to report. I got a makeup package that I figured I'd share with you. I have some book chats to talk about and I got my Joanna Parker haul that I've been waiting for. I mentioned it in the last vlog when I showed some of the Joanna Parker spring pieces that I found at Home Goods and how I desperately wanted more. So I did end up ordering some and I'm really excited to share them with you. I think I'll start there actually. So last time I mentioned this egg mug that I'm obsessed with that I found at Home Goods, and there are two other ones and I bought them on the Christmas Traditions website. So let me show you those, they're so cute. Just look at them. Oh, I can't take it. They're just so precious. I love them. I love how colorful they are. They're so fun. I'm very happy that I bought those. I also bought this set of four. They're technically teacups, but I'll still use them as mugs as well. I'll just do like smaller shots of coffee with a little bit of creamer instead of like a big cup. Oh, hello, Kanade. Just had to be a part of this. <laughs> so it's this set of four bunnies. Here's one of them. 
Here's the other one. They all have slightly different faces. Here's the other two. They're so cute. I had tea in this one last night. <laughs> but they're so precious and I had to have them. I just love the Joanna Parker design. I just, I love it. It's so vintagey looking and almost kind of creepy and I'm obsessed. And then last part of that order are just these little like knick-knacky type things. These are definitely borderlining on creepy and I absolutely love them. Like give me anything kind of vintage, creepy, spooky. Um, but we have this little rabbit hanging out on an egg and then this little chick. I love them. I think they're so creepy. Like they look like they could come alive at night. I love these so much. So I'm gonna put them somewhere in the house. I'm not sure exactly where yet, but I'll put them somewhere out here with the rest of the decor. Moving on to books now though. So last time we talked, I think I mentioned that I did finish Witch Please, which was super cute. I ended up rating this one four stars on my Goodreads and I really liked it. It was just kind of a forbidden love kind of trope, a witch with a mundane, which is what they call like non-magical beings in this universe. And it was really cute just kind of watching the story unfold. This was definitely more of a cutesy vibe. There was still like drama involved as far as like why they couldn't be together and stuff. But I liked reading this one and letting it unfold. It was a really cute story. And then basically over just yesterday, I read the sequel Boss Witch. This wasn't available at the bookstore when I tried to go um, right when I was finishing this book, but I ordered it online. It arrived on Monday evening and I started reading it that night. I think I only read like one chapter though. So most of this book I spent all of yesterday reading. I had such a long week. <laughs> I feel like my day's off this week. Sunday, obviously we were at Universal, which is super fun, but it's obviously not like relaxing. And then Monday I was dealing with family stuff, which was, it wasn't a horrible day, but it was just, it was drama. And then yesterday I actually had the day to just do nothing. So I basically read all day long. So I read and finished Boss Witch. I also rated this one four stars and I think I liked this one more than the first one, but they were different vibes. So the first book is in Danica's perspective with her love interest Titus and you kind of go back and forth between both of their perspectives. This one is Danica's cousin Clementine and the opposite viewpoint is Gavin, who is actually a witch hunter. So also kind of a forbidden love kind of situation where it's the witch and the witch hunter. She's trying to like distract him, but she ends up like getting really interested in him. And that's not spoiler or anything. It talks about all that stuff like on the back and you kind of get a feel for that in the first book because they kind of cross paths a little bit. This one kind of starts about halfway through Witch Please, but obviously with a different perspective. It's really cool reading this one and letting it unfold as well. I feel like this one, was more than just like a love story. There was definitely more of that sense of like, oh, like there's a problem here. What is going on with like the witch hunter's agenda? Like what's going on with that? I really liked this one unfolding and I liked the different twists. I thought that one was really good. And now I'm about to start the third book, Extra Witchy. This one takes place through Leanne's perspective, who is also in the coven with the two cousins. Um, you already kind of know who her love interest is in the other two books. It's Trevor, it's actually Titus's friend, but I haven't started this one yet, so I don't have any thoughts. So really excited to read this one. And then the fourth one I think is supposed to come out sometime this year. And I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's a really cute, just witchy series. I'm liking getting to know these different characters. That's what I really liked about the X-Hex and the Kiss Curse is I liked that same universe and I liked that it was a sequel to the first but with a different person in the story's perspective. I liked kind of getting to know different characters and that's what I'm really enjoying about this series as well. So loving that so far. I'm excited to finish this one up. I work for the next few days so I'm not going to be able to like bust this one out in a day like I did with Boss Witch but I'll read them at night. I've been bringing my book to work if I have time in between my clients to read a little bit. So I'll probably be done with that by like Saturday or Sunday, I imagine. And next week, actually, Zane's going on a business trip from like Monday to Friday. So I'm going to be totally alone. So I might actually get a lot of reading done during that because what else am I going to do? But last thing I wanted to talk about is this makeup package. Sigma sent me a package. I'm super excited. It is the collab with Kristen Dominique. We have the brush set and they sent me a couple other products as well. We have this color correcting duo, which I've already tried in the past and it's not bad. It's just not something that I really get use out of. So I'm going to give that one to a friend. I got the highlighter in Savannah, which I have used before. I really, really love their highlighter formula, but during my highlight declutter last year, I ended up not keeping this one and keeping Moonbeam just because that one was more of a 
perfect highlighter for my skin tone. This one just wasn't quite perfect, even though it's a beautiful formula. So I'll give this one to a friend as well. This is a blush in Sunset Kiss. I love their blushes. I have, I think, four of them. So I'm really happy to add this one to the mix. I don't even care what it looks like. I already know that I have to have it. And then also the matte bronzer in light. This is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. I already use it. I already love it. I already am obsessed with it. So I'm going to give this one to a friend as well. But super excited about this brush set. Supposedly it's six never before seen brushes. So let's take a peek, shall we? I do have an affiliate code with Sigma, by the way, if you didn't know, all of my codes are always in my description box, um, but you can use my code Batty Bean to save. I think it's 10% on their site. <gasps> These are so pretty. I love this dusty pink handle. Oh, these bristles feel so good too. Oh my gosh. Oh, and these ones just have like a name on them. They don't have like, uh, like a letter, like E32 or anything like that. But this is the setting powder brush. Honestly, I'd probably use this one more for bronzer. I really like a big fluffy brush like this for bronzer. I just love when brands come up with high quality synthetic brushes because I don't use natural hair. I love Sigma's brushes so much. I'm happy I started using them last year, but yeah, I'll probably use that one for bronzer. Oh, this will be a blush brush for sure. This is an angled cheek brush. I love an angled blush brush for blush. <laughs> this is the all over face precision brush. This is definitely the kind of brush that I'll use to like set my under eyes and stuff like that. I actually really need to clean my brushes, so I might just switch over to these. This is the face contour brush. And I guess like I probably would use this for like contouring if I'm not bronzing and I wanna use an actual contour powder. I probably would use it for something like that. I could also see myself using this for setting the under eyes. There's also this brighten and bake brush, which I don't really use a brush this shape. Again, maybe I'd use it for like my under eyes. There's these three brushes I feel like I could kind of interchange how I use them. So not sure like what exactly I'll use those for, but either way, I'm super excited about them. And then last, this is an eye and nose contour brush. I don't really contour my nose. It's just not really a thing I do. I do put some bronzer on my nose, but I don't like precisely carve it. I'll probably just use this more as an eyeshadow brush. I think that'll be more my vibe. But I'm really excited about these. Um, congrats to the brand and Kristen Tominique for this collab. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to clean up my mess now because I have stuff everywhere <laughs> after talking about it. I'm going to do a little bit of editing and then head off to work in about an hour and a half. So I will catch you next time I see you. Happy Sunday. It is such a lovely day out. It is daylight savings, but thankfully I don't feel like I lost an hour of sleep, even though I did. I think it's just because I, I don't know. Tried to be mindful of that when I went to bed last night. <laughs> but I woke up, I finished my book and it was really, really good. And then I did some swatch filming. I got the four new little Sigma palettes. I didn't bring them downstairs. So I'll show you either later or you'll see videos of them in the future. But I swatched all of those this morning and now I wanted to chat with you about the books. So obviously we already kind of chatted about the which please, this one's from Danica's perspective with Titus. This one is from Clementine's perspective with Gavin, the witch hunter. And then Extra Witchy is the third one in the series that I finished this morning. This is from Leanne's perspective, who's also in their coven and with Trevor's perspective as well, because that's their love story. And it was really, really good. I loved kind of the fake dating kind of trope and I, really enjoy just the different events that unfolded. She's running for council. And then she also ends up wanting to make changes in the witch world as well, trying to make things be more normalized for witches, especially with their non-magical partners, being able to be open about it. And I just loved like reading the story unfolding. And it's like, part of me wants to rank these, like my favorite one is the newest one. My second favorite would be Boss Witch and my like third favorite would be the first one, but I think it's just, I was enjoying the story in general and I really like watching the progression happen with these and hearing all of their stories. And I'm ready for the fourth one to come out now. I don't even know what it's gonna be about, but I will absolutely buy it when it comes out. I'm super excited. They were super cute, easy, witchy reads. They had some spiciness and overall, I'm very happy with those books. And I'm really proud of myself. I've only been like heavily into reading again for like three weeks and I've already read six books, so. Props to me. I'm super excited about that. I think my next book is going to be with Miss Colleen Hoover because I bought It Ends With Us a couple weeks ago and I haven't read it yet because I've been on my witchy kick, but I'm going to take a break from that to read It Ends With Us. 
I did buy two new books yesterday at Target because they were on sale. Let me grab those. They were having a cute little 20% off and I almost bought a million books, but then I decided, let me just buy a couple. I have a huge stack that I still need to read, so. I bought a witch's guide to fake dating a demon. This one seemed really cute. And since I was already reading kind of the fake dating trope, I'm like into that heavily right now. So I like the idea of this one. And then I've had this one on my wish list for a couple weeks now, <laughs> as long as I've been reading. Um, but it's the Final Girl Support Group. It's like a bunch of your favorite final girls from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Scream, and maybe more, I'm not sure. But <laughs> it's basically just all of their time being a final girl and surviving like what they did. I'm really excited. This seems like a pretty easy read. It's like not even quite 350 pages, so I'm really excited to read this one. But I'm going to give Miss Colleen Hoover a try first. And if I end up loving this one, I'll probably go ahead and just buy and start reading. It starts with us because that's the second one in this book duo. So yeah, that's the plan. Zane leaves out of town tomorrow to go to Atlanta for work because someone has to go to the Atlanta office and do IT stuff so he'll be gone for a week so I think I'm just gonna get a lot of reading done when I'm not working. I did start a new vlog yesterday technically. Uh, we started redoing my wig wall because I've been meaning to install proper hooks on the wall and also declutter some of my wigs so I started filming that. That'll be in the next vlog but that's what we did yesterday. We did a bunch of cleaning, we did errands, we went to Target, we ended up going and hanging out with some of our friends last night and we saw 65 at the theater, I'd never heard of it. I hadn't seen the trailer, I hadn't heard a thing about it, but our friends Kyle and Sam really wanted to see it, so we joined them. We have the Regal Pass, so it's super easy to just tag along to all these things, but it was good. Adam Driver, space, dinosaurs. <laughs> Pretty solidly good movie overall. It like, wasn't necessarily a movie I'd feel the need to rewatch per se, but I liked it. And then tonight we're seeing the new Scream, and I am so super excited. I think we're going at like 6 p.m. I should check the seats actually because we haven't reserved seats yet because it seemed like it wasn't going to sell out or anything but let me double check because if so then we'll reserve our tickets right now but i am so excited it's going to be so good i'll start getting ready at some point later today film a little instagram video oh yeah still pretty open so we will do that later but i'm excited to see scream it's going to be good and i also have some other plans in the works currently for a little home decor modification situation that I'm so excited to share with you. It'll probably be in the next vlog because I'm gonna end this vlog tonight, but I'm gonna wait until after Scream is over so I can chat with you about how the movie went. I've heard really good things about it, so I'm really excited. But in the meantime, I think I'm just gonna relax a little bit, do a little bit more cleaning because we didn't get all of our cleaning done yesterday. And then I'll film at some point, but that's the plan so far. Uh, yeah, I'm just feeling super excited. I will catch you later. Hello, I am back from the movie. I guess I should say we. Zane was included in this. Um, I personally loved it. I thought it was fantastic. It was a really good follow-up to Scream 5 last year, but if you didn't see Scream 5 last year, I feel like they do a pretty good job at kind of catching you up to speed, but if you want to see Scream 6, I feel like you should see Scream 5 first. I feel like it'll hit differently. Um, but I thought it was really good. It just does such a good job at poking fun at itself. And I feel like the deaths were a fun time. Overall, I really enjoyed it. Probably one of my more favorite Scream movies. Obviously nothing will beat the original. It's iconic, but this one was really good as well. But I think that's where I'm going to leave you. I'm just going to disassemble and get cozy and read for a while and then head off to bed. So that's the end of this vlog. Do you have any comments about the movie? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> if you made it to the end of this vlog, why don't you leave some books and knives emojis? Because I yes. feel like that was, your head's cut off. You're like the mayor and Powerpuff Girls or the mayor's <laughs> assistant. <laughs> um, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fan. I'm Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.